Hello everyone, my name is Flip Let's here and welcome to Until Daybreak. Now this is a short stealth horror game made in RPG Maker MV, I believe it is. And this is created by Nason, I believe they're called. And the translator of the game is called Habakie, Habaki AA, however I want to call it, apologise for not pronouncing your name correctly, but this is a short game which I saw on Tumblr yesterday on the 23rd of October, but I only saw it on the 24th, sorry to say that, <laughs> I said it wrong way around, but anyways folks, I'm pretty sure if you're a familiar watcher of mine, you'll realise that I've not speaking properly and that's because I'm going to do a soothing let's play commentary rather than my usual sort of semi bashing one or semi yelling one as it were so I'm going to try and proceed with this as calmly as possible and without further ado folks we're going to get straight into the game itself so I'm thinking if it's a short one then we are going to complete this throughout one episode but if it takes like more than let's say 40 or 50 minutes and I'll break it up into two different episodes which difficulty would you like to play it on I'm gonna play it on normal because that's sort of like the standard canon sort of way of playing a game on the normal difficulty I don't know how to play the game so that's why I didn't put it on suicide in the first place but I may do another let's play of this game on suicide I don't know. I was the only one who can see the black clad gentleman. Wow. It was back when I was much younger than I am now. I had thought that the warmth of my parents' relationship had finally frozen over. Day in, day out, they were constantly arguing. Every time I saw them fight, sorry, my nose is really annoying at the moment. I would recall a tight, painful feeling deep in my chest, back in those days, like it was some kind of daily routine for them. They howled slander at each other. He appeared on the morning of one of those days. There was That man was there, friendly, and seeming like he naturally belonged there, as if he was simply visiting the home for, of an old friend. He was a well-dressed man with a gentle atmosphere to him. My initial thoughts of him were that he was a nice person. At least, that's what I thought at the time. The black-clad gentleman said to my parents, I shall come to collect you this eve, and left with those words only. Who was that man? I asked my parents. But the both of them had a perplexed look on their faces. Neither of them had been aware of the man's presence. I wonder who that black clad man that only I could see was. I ended up feeling rather unusual inside, even though I thought it over in my head. I wasn't able to come to any kind of answer. That night, I lost my parents in a car accident. House, a haunted forest. Light's not on. Hmm. We do appear to be rather tiny on the character sprite, but the artwork is still very good. Anna, are you still awake? Oh, Leon, please get some rest already. It's not good for you to be staying up so late with your condition. Okay. Also, I noticed you seemed awfully busy these past few evenings. What could be so important that you have to do late at night? Honestly, nothing much. There has been a number of burglaries in the area lately, so I'm just being a little cautious. A bit cautious, sorry. Okay, but please, don't push yourself. Don't worry about me. After all, it's my job as your older oh my brother. I didn't notice at first, sorry about that. As your older brother to take care of you. You just hang in there, Anna. But daughter said he'll come to the island by boat tomorrow if you're doing well enough. Alright. 
Just don't give up, okay? Yeah, I have to get better soon. You did nothing but eat easy meals nowadays. You need to start eating properly again. You do nothing but eat easy meals. Okay. I see what you're trying to do there, yeah. yeah I get it now. If you keep that up, you'll die before me. Now I have to get better so I can cook dinner for you again. That's right. I sure do miss your cooking, Anna. But for now, you just get some rest. Hmm. Ah, time to do my usual patrolling until daybreak. Like hence the name of the game. So the first thing I discover when I play a, a whole Let's Play is how to save the game. It's usually by two different means. One of them is that you go to a certain location, and another is by just saving in the main menu. Although other times as well, when certain events prop up, it's also the case of it giving you the option to save before a big event happens within the game. But let's get back to the game anyways. Our cardboard box big enough for a person to fit inside. You can even survive by sneaking around in one of the ba on, on the battlefield. But I'm no soldier, and sure as heck don't have that kind of dexterity needed for that. There's that solid snake reference towards when he hides in a box, and he goes around the battlefield stealthily. But I, I need to keep that in mind. Hmm. Is it because of these bookshelves being enormous, or are we just tiny? It does feel like our character is really small. Good, this doll is still intact. Hmm. Normally when I do a let's play, I do quite a bashful voice like this. But I didn't seem to do it like this today. Hopefully to bring something of a peace of mind in this horrific place. Horrific as in a horror game. Not horrific as in like, it's a bad game. Crates like these are found all over my house. I bought them in bulk since it was cheaper. They're also tall enough so I can hide behind them, and I would be dead if not for that. So it seems we have some enemies to look out for throughout this game. So without these boxes you would be dead, did you say? First floor foyer. Foyer. I still haven't checked the, checked the entire floor yet. Yet. I just had dinner and sometimes my throat does sometimes backlash first west wing so we came through this door originally hmm hold on we seem to go through the door well, we seem to be uh, purchased on the door itself so when we go through his feet are above the bottom of the door Part of the reason why I do Let's Plays when the game is initially released is not because I want all the views. I believe that comments and likes are far more important than just views on their own. I would say that partially it's because it helps the developers see bugs within the game from a third person perspective. And when they see that, then they can see, well, when they see that in my video, they can see it and then they can make impl implementations on it in the future. But I think this game has been out for a good two months now, but it's only recently translated into English. The kitchen hasn't had much use since Anna collapsed. I only came here to boil water for my ready to eat meals, since it doesn't take that much effort. I would love to eat a hot meal again. Would it be nice to eat something that doesn't come out of a bag for once? Yes, you need nutrition in your life. Uh, really made meals isn't going to be the saviour of everything. Those things are a saving grace for people like me. I don't have to worry about burning another omelette now that these do all the work for me. Hmm. I'm letting me speak like this when I'm trying to interpret a female protagonist. But it's nice sometimes to have a male protagonist because it's very rare. Think of the games like Misao, Eve, The Witch's House, Mad Father, Mermaid Swamp, The Sandman, uh, Infectious Nightmare, Blank Dream, Pocket Mirror, Aria Story, a few games as well as that, 
They all consist of one thing in common, and that is a female protagonist, which is not bad in itself, but sometimes it gets a bit repetitive when you only use a young female character as a protagonist, so it's nice to see a little bit of a change. When we were younger, it was my job to sit here and brush Anna's hair each and every day. When she gets better, maybe I can brush her hair again, for old times' sakes. Then again, maybe not. She's becoming an adult soon and may not appreciate it as much anymore. There's nothing in here. The laundry is really piling up. If they don't hurry and get all this done, I'll be left with no spare underwear. Draws. That's probably the second worst thing that you can run out of. The worst thing you can run out of is toilet roll. Now I've been wearing disposable diapers ever since. After all that, nothing can scare me anymore. Wait, let me just do that. Uh, hmm. It seems we can't expect it, the toilet more than one. Okay, so one thing I found is that you can't expect inspect means multiple times. I heard somewhere that monsters hate water. So I decided to mix in some holy water into a bath water for some extra protection. I was able to get a vial of it from the priest, surprised that drunkard had any other than vodka in his stash. I had, I have, so I have these awful dark circles under my eyes, all thanks to how much sleep I've had to give up lately. But that will end tonight. It has to. That actually kind of su surprised me. I didn't know this was here. Aha, so this is a means of traversing around in case of a monster comes in here. So I was very lucky that I acknowledged that that was there beforehand because if I got into a pickle and I thought I was in a dead end, then that would be very troubling indeed. So you're saying that I need to encounter monsters to proceed with the game. I shouldn't disturb Anna while she's sleeping. But you already disturbed her, didn't you? Hmm. How to traverse through the game? How to proceed through the story? How to go through all of this? What about the outside? I have no reason to go outside. I must stay here and protect Anna. Um. I seem to investigate it everywhere on the first floor. Ah, second floor corridor. Very good. Oh, I found something there. I'm going to investigate around the place a bit first before picking that up. You never know what you might find before you pick up an item. Because when you pick it up when you pick up an item, sometimes that initiates an event like a chase scene or a jump scare or something else something else entirely or some un some items like in blank dream you pick it up and it has severe consequences like death for example it's my room I have no reason to be in here right now I could investigate everywhere why is this room locked I must have dropped a key somewhere okay so that initiates an event of sorts oh but yeah maybe you need to find a key in there why don't you use your forward thinking processes? Picked up the key to the archives. Good for us. We do definitely use it, and we'll use a different save slot for that matter. Let's go in here and see what we can find. Unlocked the door. So we're in the second floor archive, and there's something up the north there. Damn, I've got a doll here. I better look, go look around and place it on this bed. Maybe that's it there. Let's check everywhere else first. Hmm. Separate safe slots, just in case if I get into a pickle. I like to investigate everywhere first. It could be a item source. Picked up the doll. Are you sure this doll is not possessive? Let's try re let's tr let's try leaving the room. I haven't sorted the doll yet. Okay. Uh, let's put the doll back in here. I take the syringe out of my pocket I had previously with my blood and drip some onto the doll's head. If I were a third party, I'd probably think of myself as some kind of psych psychopath. What they don't understand is that I have a reason for doing this. Hmm. Thanks. What the heck?
Let's do this again. Is that one of the monsters? Hmm. It's been five years since my parents died. While it was difficult for Anna and I, the people around us were kind and helped us out when we needed it. It was around that time that I had to grow up immediately, especially when my younger sister fell ill. According to the doctor, although I hope he doesn't know his life threatening, there is a way to treat it. He told me he will return from the mainland to deliver the medicine she needs in the following week. As long as she gets his medicine, my sister will get better. The doctor confirmed that we shouldn't have to worry any longer, but I saw him again. The exact same gentleman from before. This time, he stood silently by Anne's bedside, as if he was simply cons consoling her. I will come to collect you this eve. He said before giving a slight nod and vanishing. Did I hear him correctly? Was this addressed to Anna? He took away my parents, and now he's going to take away my little sister from me too. I can't allow that to happen. How to play? Z inspects open. Okay, so C is to turn flashlight on and off. That's going to be the most important thing to do because inspecting something, we can just press N we can just press Z as well. X or escape is to open the menu. Um, flashlight is going to be the important one to remember. I played a lot of RPG Maker Horror games, and the um, layout is pretty the same, much the same. There are unique controls, so I remember C as flashlight. When the monster spots you, once the monster the licks with blood cleans off the doll, it will toss them aside, and I can no longer use them as a decoy. Then the chances of it finding my sister will drastically increase. Also, I have security cameras hooked up to the computers in both our bedrooms. I can use them to monitor the dolls I have set up. If I see any abnormalities, I should go there immediately and put the dolls back in their place and refresh them with my blood. If a monster happens to see me, I should run away and then try to hide behind something. As long as I am in sight, it will continue to chase after me until I am caught. But if I manage to stay out of its gaze long enough, it will eventually leave me alone. Also, it's a bad idea to keep my flashlight on while I'm in hiding. I should turn it off by pressing the C key. Full full breaker chair. As I'm the player, and you are the little program inside the game. Okay, so, good thing this doll is still intact. Maybe I should refri refresh it? I don't know, so... Is there going to be multiple endings to this game? One where you save your sister from that monster, and the other one in which you don't? Or is it just going to be the case of one ending, and if you don't manage to save your sister, then it's game over? So I'm thinking it's a... I can see well enough without using the flashlight, and that'll save us a little bit of a... a um, unnecessary implementation to use the flashlight in the first place. Even if I hide inside the closet, that creature will still come after me, thanks to my scent. I initially thought that this would make an excellent hiding spot, but I almost died from the first night of Ace about. I never set in foot inside the closet ever again. I can check the security camera for the footage of this computer, if you want to set up a room, but it hands room as well. Um, for some odd reason, this gives me a Five Nights at Freddy's feel. But it's really nice to have this on hand. <laughs> A wave of regret was coursing through my veins. Something happened that could never be undone. Anna. Anna? Anna. The boy tightly held onto his younger sister's hand. What did he expect as he kept calling her name over and over again? Miracles will never come true for him. All he could do is welcome the empty shell that was once his sister as the morning arises. Okay, well, I'm glad I got the bad end there. I'm not sure how that can be implemented, though. Maybe I need to check on Anna from there. Maybe it's a bad idea to go into the room in the first place. Hmm. It's Anne. She's fast asleep. Her fair skin is mer mer merred by her illness. 
If she makes it through the night, the doctor will come to this island with the medicine she needs, so I will do everything in my power to keep her safe, at least for her sake. Um... Um... Okay, so I need to study the game first, which will involve dying a lot. But I need to be able to know what's going to happen. So is this, is this a time-related game where things will happen if... Oh, there's the doll. Pick up the doll. Put the okay, so I need to go around the house and ensure that these dolls stay in their place. Um... 1 a.m. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's a monster. Okay. Right, so I need to ensure that these dolls will stay in their place. Um, I've never. Have I been to the kitchen before? Okay, so this doll is still here. So how many, so, what's the length of the game? Pick up the door. Yep. So I wonder if I have a limited amount of blood that, that I can give. So it's a matter of ensuring that the monster never goes into Anne's room. The more dolls which are intact, the more likely it is that I will be Oh. oh my god. Get away from it. Leaves me alone after a certain amount of time. That's good. So I do wonder how long it's going to be. And I do wonder if checking the security system is a bad thing. It was in that room. That's the indication that it's within the room that you're currently in. Uh, the doll's still there. Uh, let's check the upper floor. Let's check over here. Um, 2 a.m. So I wonder how long I need to survive for. Uh, no doll in here. Let's check over here. Okay, so there are four dolls in total. And what I need to do is ensure that I will be able to manage this. I believe that's the aim of the game. But how long do I need to do this for? Hmm. Hmm. I believe I got the game sussed out. If possible. Apologies for my lack of... Um, my lack of commentary. But it does seem like I am concentrating on the game in hand. Hmm. Wonder when it will hit 3 a.m. I wonder if I'm doing the game right. I hope I'm doing the game right. Hmm. Everything seems okay so far. Oh my god, that kind of spooked me. Um, maybe... If... It comes to the case. Maybe I'll try the game on suicide as well. Just in case. We're going to try and avoid repeating our footsteps. 
so that we don't encounter into a monster. Freaking hell! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my golly! A bad end indeed! Oh my goodness! I did not expect that at all. My golly. So, whenever that noise appears, don't be near a door. My worry is not... There we go. I'm glad the uh, the objects work because sometimes in games, regardless if you have a object in the way, sometimes the game doesn't. Well, the monsters don't actually detect that. Um, where's it? Where's it coming from? Did you be? Did you be? Oh, that was close. I'm not going to do this for the rest of my time. Leave me be. I don't want to hurt you. What the heck is that monster anyways? What's the purpose behind the story of the game? One thing to say, I do quite like the animation of a monster. I've never seen an animated jump scare like that before. Oh my god, the doll's off the bed. Let's check the other side now. Uh, doll, doll, the doll's still there. Still there, doll still there. How long have I got until I'm fine? Dude, just get out of sight! Get out of direct sight. Okay, so I was wrong about the game being easy. Where's this monster gonna appear from? Is it there? Jesus again! I wasn't expecting it to turn around. Damn this monster. This is what the old man cast the past upon me. Oh my god. No, 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 That was close again. I swear each hour is getting longer. Or maybe it's just me. Oh, come on. Escaped its grasp. Okay, I definitely need to try a different tactic on this. I can't just keep running around in circles. Because time might pause within this duration. I'm getting closer to death here. I can feel it. Using mechanics of the game. Let's check upstairs now. Let's go over here. Let's put the doll back on its bed. 3 a.m. I thought it said 3 a.m. beforehand. Listening is an important factor of the game. Let's go back downstairs. Do do, you're still on the bed. That. Where is it? Where is it? Where the heck is it? What are these 
these noise cues. Um, <laughs> screw that monster. What the heck are you trying to do to me, game? So we've hit 3M. We're still going to proceed through this until we are done. I would like to complete the game. I don't want to be anywhere near the monster, if it helps me. Okay, I think I just escaped, de escaped death there. Doll's still on the bed, that's good. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. You're not in your place. Let's get out of the room. Thank you. It's usually along these corridors where the monster will appear. Sheesh. Do not do that to me, monster. Wonder how time progresses through the game. Is it by events or is it just by how long you've played the game? I don't want it to be uh, how many events that have been triggered. I don't want that to happen. I feel like I'm missing an important piece of the game. Let's hide up here. What does that noise indicate? Using the flash lights and flashlight is not a good idea. Where are you gonna go? You're still here, why aren't you going away? Check over here quickly. Dolls still intact. Good. 4 a.m. has hit upon us. It's been in this room. Okay, not here. Down here. I'm not using the security footage. I'm not going to use it. Because the last time we checked on it, the last time we checked on it, it just kerfuffled us. Barely moved from your original position. Why are you such a troll? Okay, so let's go down here and proceed left this time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, nope. So when you hear a noise, the monster's about to appear within the room. And you've got very, very little time before you can do something about it. And when that happens, just try your best to escape the room before the monster appears. If the monster appears, then hide. Don't just use any old obstacle. Use something that provides cover from multiple angles. Nothing here. Just in time as well. Mm -hmm. Nothing here. But it takes two of them. In some ways, you can avoid. Uh, look, uh, sometimes you can actually avoid activating the, the monster if you look for only a short amount of time. 
because it resets after each time you enter a room. But it could also be the case that the time that the monster appears is shortened after each hour. 5 a.m. I wonder if it's I wonder if it's up to 6 a.m. So 5 a.m. Oh, did I say p.m.? Apologies if I said 5 p.m. Check that's all good. Use the shortest route that it takes to get to another room. Doll still intact. That's good. It's all good. Go up here. The doll's still there. Go over here. Doll still in the bed. Dolls are distractions. They're decoys. They have a lifeline of both me and Anne. Um, this doll's still intact. It would be really, really scary if if it didn't give a warning, a sound cue, and you have to rely on your instinct to know when it's safe. So I kind of got that little technique figured out that if you stay in a room for a very short amount of time, then the monster will not attack you. That's a game mechanic flaw right there. It's not real time, it's sort of game mechanic time. Gonna save. Check all the rooms. Check all the rooms. Make sure the doll's still intact. Oh my gosh. I thought I was gonna die there. A chill permits the air with a sense of dread. It seems like something was to happen that I couldn't change. It was just being as pure blooded instinct telling me such. I should go. No. Mm, over you, who abomination. I'm glad that triggered off. Okay, so it's not just that. There are events within the game. Let's use it like a T-shape. It's moving more quickly than it used to. Where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? Damn, found me. When are you going to leave me alone? If I make a mistake, I am doomed. Good. Hmm. Oh, come on. How do you know that I'm there? Let's use this box. will no longer chase after me. I welcomed the morning with a great sense of relief, but at the same time, a perfectly viable sense of anxiety had also welled up within me. Anna. The gentleman. That was the first. This is the first time a human being who can see our kind was able to resist our influences strongly. Have no fear. The girl's fate has been altered, and I'll be unable to collect her for quite some time. But you must never forget. It is unavoidable that people will eventually perish. May we meet again, young sir. Live a life free, free of regret. When the time comes, don't become a fawn in our side. He vanished. Is it over? 
It truly was a night I couldn't comprehend, but it's nothing worth worrying about anymore. Uh, is it morning already? Did, did you have a good night's rest? Anna still lives on today. This is all I need to be satisfied. Leon? Rise and shine, Anna. Until daybreak. Oh, that's it. I wonder if there's any other mysteries in the game which I have not looked out for. May I do another sweep of the game to see if there are any other hidden things from the game? But I don't think there was anything else from the game that I could have discovered from there. Maybe there is secrets in the game which I've missed out from there, but it is a really nice game. Although I must say that it is a little easy on normal after you get used to like the scenario of a game, then you know what happens, what comes by within the game. But I wonder if the difficulty affects what any you get. Or it's just one ending for regardless of which difficulty you put it on. But I, I didn't want to put it on easy. Thin. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Good for us. Goody, goody, good, good, good for us. So that is until daybreak first. For, so that is until daybreak. That is until daybreak first. Hope you enjoyed that game as much as I have because I had a lot of fun playing this game. It's a short game which makes it very desirable, but at the same time it's not too short and it makes it very, very sort of lacking. But I would say the only thing that I would have to critique about the game is that the sprites, the character sprites that appear on the screen are really, really small compared to everything else within the game. But that's not a translator thing, that's a developer thing. I must say so myself. Okay, so conf okay, that's just the options that you have for being in the game. So, thank you very much for watching, folks. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I have playing it. And we shall see each other within another horror game. Have a wonderful day and take care of yourselves.